Hi, good afternoon. Please join me in preparing our traditional Easter dinner. And here are ingredients for Easter dinner. So we're going to be having a roast of lamb. This is from the uh, leg and it is, the bone is in. Uh, the shank is removed. Uh, we have a glass of white wine. We have some fresh rosemary, carrots, asparagus. Uh, we're making um, uh, potatoes dauphinois. So I usually use one potato per person who's going to be eating. So we're gonna be five today, so five potatoes, uh, an onion, some garlic, and uh, some heavy cream. Uh, this is three deciliters, so that's 300 milliliters. Uh, you will also need olive oil, salt, and pepper. Okay, we're gonna start by preparing our meat. So we're going to stud it with the garlic. These cloves are really big, so I've separated them into two to make it easier to get them in. And then we have this fresh rosemary. What we're going to do is we're going to clip off some stalks of rosemary. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a knife. I'm gonna make a small slit. In. I'm gonna take a piece of the rosemary and a piece of the garlic. And we're gonna stud it into the into the lamb like this. Okay? And then we're just gonna move on and continue this. transfer this into this aluminum form. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to salt and pepper the meat generously. I'm gonna turn it over. Make sure to wash your hands after you handle the meat. There. Now we're gonna coat it with some olive oil. And we're gonna rub it in. And this, of course, we're going to also do on the other side. Like that, and we're gonna turn it over. There we go. And it's ready for the grill. So now we've placed this on the grill. It's going to, uh, we've got it at 160 degrees Celsius. And it is going to uh, be out here until the core temperature is about 65 degrees. Uh, that is uh, me uh, medium. So if you'd like it pink, 65 degrees. And uh, it's on indirect heat. So we'll check in on the end on it in, uh, in about a half an hour, an hour. Okay, still snowing, still grilling, and we're gonna pour over one glass of white wine on top of the, and I'm gonna let it continue cooking.
just taking it off the grill and it is uh it took about an hour and a half to cook it's at uh 63 4 degrees uh temperature and now we're just going to let it rest we're going to put some foil on it let it rest Okay, so um, now we're going to start with the potatoes dauphinoise. As you can see, I've sliced the potatoes and the onions. And what I like to do before I start is I like to take the garlic, there's two cloves of garlic here, crushed, and I like to infuse it into the cream. So that whenever you pour the cream on, it gives it a full, um, that you get the garlic everywhere through it, that it's not like big chunks of garlic sitting somewhere. Okay, so that can just rest till this, we're done. We're going to begin by layering the potatoes. So we'll take a nice layer in the bottom. You can overlap. And then I always take the salt and pepper on the potatoes. Like that. I'm using a sea salt flakes and then onion. And then we'll just continue with another layer of potatoes. Once all of the potatoes are layered with the onions, then you can take your cream and you just pour it on top. And these are going to bake in the oven at 200 degrees for about 45 minutes. asparagus. You know asparagus is you just take it and bend and it'll break where it's supposed to. So we're going to dress these with some olive oil. and some pepper. I'm just going to toss these so all of them get coated evenly. And then these we are going to put on the barbecue and grill them. There we go. And that's the asparagus prepped. Okay, now I do not make gravy. That's my husband's job, so he's going to be making the gravy here. And then 
and he's going to add 200 milliliters of lamb stock. And then once the lamb is, is done cooking, we're going to add some of the juices from the lamb into the sauce as well. Uh, we also add um, cream, uh, half and half, and salt and pepper to season. Okay, for Easter dessert we've decided to make a cookie pie and I've chosen these colorful candy covered chocolates to have instead of chocolate chips. Uh, so we are going to need two and a half cups of white flour, uh, 200 grams of melted butter, one cup of sugar, half a cup of dark brown sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, and of course these chocolates. Okay, so we're gonna start by cracking some eggs. And sugar. white and frothy now so we're just going to add the brown sugar. We're going to add our butter. Ready to add our flour. Baking powder. I like to add a little touch of salt. I use salted butter too, so it's not necessary, but it just adds a little it can be quite sweet, so it's just nice to have a little salt to break it up a little. We're gonna add our vanilla and our milk. And Easter colored chocolate candies. Mm -hmm. And there is the cookie pie dough done. So what we're gonna do, we're going to tip it out, excuse me, into this pie form.
Happy Easter. Bye.